This humbles us beyond belief. From the food to the presents to a visit from Santa himself, it's a holiday party with everything you would expect, except for the unexpected situation many of these kids are in. They are fighting cancer. We run their lives on a very strict regimented manner, and this was one time of the year that we could get together as a family, all of us, and share our joy, our grief, our sadness, but above all, partake in the spirit of this time of the year. Dr. Mahendra Patel started this Christmas tradition eight years ago for his young patients, patients like Corey Kubeka, who passed away from leukemia at the age of 11. That's when Corey's parents got involved and started a motorcycle Santa run that now brings dozens of gifts to the gathering. He would be behind this if he were still here. He would do this with us. I know he's in heaven smiling at us for doing this. So. I think it's a, a wonderful thing. New people all the time. We've yeah. got a whole new group here we've never met. They've stepped up. They enjoyed the ride. They know it's a good cause. They want to see these kids smile just as much as I do. The people in our area just really support it and step up, and they are so generous, and they give so much to it, and this is the result. And even the kids get into the giving spirit the past couple of years. Adam Bays has donated his gift back to the hospital this year. He got movies for teenagers. Because they have a lot of stuff for, like, the little kids, but they don't have stuff for kid, for people of like our age, kids over you know 11 or 12, because I mean you can only watch Casper the Friendly Ghost for so long before it gets old. <laughs> A request to other patients like Kaylee Carra was certainly appreciate. She was only allowed to leave the hospital for three hours just to come to the party. I have many things wrong with me right now, but you have I'm done amazingly better. well, and you're going. Your faith and your faith is helping you. Yep. There is nothing in that child but love. And you have to respond with that purity of love that is given to you. Otherwise, it, it will not work. Because Dr. Patel says the ultimate work of getting better is still ahead. And no one can be sure how that road will end. What they do know is that, at least for these few hours, they are just kids. And it's Christmas. I love to see the kids smile. Every one of them smiling and eating and having a good time, and they want to get their presents. It's important for us to know is that as these children walk through the path of life and death, some unfortunately will not be cured. They'll be with our Lord, and this gives them a chance to say that we will not forget them. They will always remain within our hearts.